The nature of Michael's injury is severe. Although it was a successful surgery, there's a strong likelihood that Michael will never wake up from coma. No. Carly, I wish I had better news, but I don't. Come. You're wrong. Michael is getting better. He's getting better. I am his mother. I can tell he's getting better. Michael's collar's been better since this morning. Jason noticed it too. Jason, tell him. Seems like it. Yes. Michael's blood pressure has risen since the surgery. And that means he'll have a little bit more color in his cheeks, but he still may not wake up. I didn't ask your opinion. And you of all people, you don't have a say in this. Page me if you need me. And you, brilliant Dr. Drake. You can either tell me now that you believe in my son, because if you don't, I'll find someone who does. What Michael needs is for us to be positive. I mean, look at you. Look how amazing you are, and the doctors didn't give you a chance. And I was shot. It's possible, Jason. Everything is possible. And Michael knows that, don't you, baby? Don't you? Most doctors don't know you like I know you. And I know you're going to wake up and you're going to prove them all wrong. Hey. Hey. Uh, Boo called me last night, but I, I thought I'd give things a chance to settle a little. Look, I came to see you, baby. Grandpa Mike's here. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, talk to him. I want him to hear your voice. Uh, is, did Sonny take a break? I mean, maybe I could get him a cup of coffee or something. Sonny left the hospital last night, and I haven't seen him since. It doesn't surprise me at all that Robin would give up on Michael, but I expected more from Dr. Drake. I mean, you don't possibly believe... Look at me, Jason. Tell me you haven't given up on Michael. I, I know the doctors don't know everything. Yeah. I mean, you survived the impossible. You made it through your accident, and no one thought you would. Doctors are wrong all the time. And they're wrong about Michael. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that when you wake up, you're probably going to have to stay in the hospital for a while. And there's most likely going to be a few good weeks of physical therapy. So I wanted to make this room like home. I thought I could go get your little TV and your DVD player and go pick out your favorite movies. And then I thought that I could go to the library and check out a whole bunch of books, because I know how much you love to read. And then I realized that I should probably go and buy all those books, because then we could donate them to the hospital library. It'd be very important for us to give things to people, you know, who are, who are less fortunate than you are. I just thought that you would like that. I, um, I spoke to Monica's doctor at rehab, and she, she doesn't know what happened. I should, I should go tell her. That should be me. That should be me. I should be filled with all Monica's pain and anger, with all the lies I've told, all the choices I made. I thought it would be for Michael's good. Look how smart I was, Jason. Look what a good mother I've been. Isn't this bad because of the choices I've made? You didn't do this alone, Carmen. 
I made choices too. I'm as responsible as you are. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Michael and I are gonna be okay. Stretch my legs. Carly, Carly, please wait. I want you to know that I'm truly sorry for what you were going through. And under any other circumstance, I would stay away rather than have my presence upset you. So why are you here? Because Michael's father is going through his own pain. And if Sonny needs me here, I guess that's something we all have to get used to. time as they say and so they're I mean they're helping you you trust them well um I guess I'm I'm learning to I I think my biggest problem is uh, learning to trust myself this isn't all your fault Monica oh, it was my decision to drink You lost two people you love. Yes, but I certainly could have handled it in a much different way. Some things hurt so bad that, um... You can't carry them alone. Something happened. Michael was shot. Oh, my God. I mean, he's, uh, he's alive, but he's in, he's in a coma. Who's the doctor? Patrick Drake. Robin's been consulting. Well, tell me, please. Tell me what happened. <sighs> um, oh, gosh. Um, Sonny uh, took Michael to the coffee oh. house to just to watch this big shipment come in. And, and then somebody took a shot at Sonny and they hit Michael. Where did he? I think he's gonna wake up. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. Did you have any sign that there was a shooter? I saw I, a reflection. I looked up, there was a, a rifle. So I didn't think, I just reacted. I, 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 Kate was right in front of me. I grabbed her, threw her to the ground because I didn't want her to be in the line of fire again. You bastard. 